Change comes from you From you, from you Change comes from you I'm confused by inconsistencies in media. I heard a human use the word propaganda. What does this mean? Propaganda is when information is of a biased or misleading nature. Think of it as media that lies. Yeah, it's like a movie with actors. Maybe that's why Hollywood is so liberal. They're used to lying. I don't understand. So you're saying that humans are deliberately wrong. Right. Sometimes the facts you hear are true. It's just that what's left out gives you a misleading representation of what the truth actually is. For example, you might hear that 10 Israeli soldiers died. But what they leave out is that a thousand Palestinians died because Israel indiscriminately targeted civilians. But you'd never know this from their benevolent portrayal in American media. Israel is like the aliens from the movie Mars Attacks. Don't run. We are your friends. Does Israel kill children? Yes, according to the United Nations, in the 2014 Gaza War, more than 69% of the casualties were civilians, many of those women and children. You see, that's propaganda because you're leaving out that Hamas uses kids as human shields, so this way they purposely get hurt and they can attract international attention. In fact, the more kids they have, the less able Israel is to strike them. Only in Gaza does not wearing a condom give you protection. Israel also uses kids as human shields. In these photos and videos from The Guardian, it shows Palestinians being kidnapped and then being forced to go first in house-to-house -house raids. In this footage, the Palestinian is in a black t-shirt. Israeli troops have kids go first so often, they should yell, Trick or treat! Not only is this a violation of the Geneva Conventions, but you also need a college accredited university to give a kid an unpaid internship. Wow, this is amazing that both sides use human shields. At that point, why even fight? Just have the kids duke it out. Kick him in come the on, groin. Bite kick him. him in the groin. Come, come on, on, bite come him. Come on, kick him in the bite groin. Bite him. Come, come on. Aw, oh, this is just ridiculous. His human shield is using a human shield. So what statistics do you think are accurate? Those UN numbers you gave are biased. According to Israel's military, in late 2005 and 2007, only 2 to 3% of those killed were civilians. You're cherry picking the best periods. Tell us about 2014 and 2002. In 2002 and 2014, there were 50% civilian casualty ratios. First of all, I'm disputing that that's right, but if reducing something from 67 to 50% is your idea of good results, then I'd hate to join an Israeli weight loss program. Okay, so we're going to reduce your body fat from 67% to 50%. Only half my clients die. Let me ask the conservative, do you have a more concrete example of UN bias? The United Nations Relief for Palestine Agency posted this photo on May 29, 2017 as part of their fundraiser for Gaza, stating, You've got to help poor Aya. The Israeli soldiers are sure to kill her. What a great photo. In fact, it's such a good photo, they posted the same one on January 27, 2015 as part of their fundraiser for Syria. So the UN can't discern if this little girl is a Palestinian or a Syrian. But yet we're supposed to trust that their statistics can carefully discern who is a terrorist. In that case, Hamas should just conduct operations with Aya. Even if she died with a AK-47 in her hands, the UN might label her a civilian. Interesting, because in our previous video on 1948, you used the UN's approval as justification for sealing Palestinian land. But look, they made a map. Now you're saying that the UN is biased against Israel. So apparently the UN can draw borders, but can't count dead bodies for shit. By this logic, we should have the UN draw chalk outlines around the bodies. Then you'd acknowledge they're dead, and it's their land. 
there's no shortage of photos and video evidence of Israel's human rights abuse. According to a UN study, Israel used white phosphorus, the chemical weapon, in violation of the Geneva Conventions when bombing the Gaza Strip. So if I were to summarize your argument, it'd be that Israel uses cruel and unnecessary force. Exactly. I think this is worse than the 10 plagues because even Moses didn't use chemical weapons. If the ancient Hebrews used the brutality of modern day Israel, the Egyptians would have surrendered so much land, the Sphinx would have been turned into a bar mitzvah golf resort. I don't know who to believe. To summarize the Republicans main argument, are you saying that the Palestinians are either exaggerating or lying. Yeah. In another example of propaganda, over 300,000 people were posting on Twitter with the hashtag Gaza under attack. But a BBC News investigation found that a majority of these photos were from Assad's bombings in Syria. Ha! You'd have to be high to believe these Twitter accounts. Maybe that's why they call it a hashtag. Smoke it by the pound. Symbol. The irony is that Iran funds Syria's dictator. So you're complaining about Israel's atrocities by using photos of atrocities committed by Israel's enemies. Look at this, it's horrible. Yeah, I know, we've been complaining about it at the UN. Apparently the only thing Gaza's under attack for is the attention spotlight. People are tweeting about atrocities in other countries. Gaza's under attack. Only on Twitter is Alex Jones banned while Hamas accounts run rampant. So if Alex Jones wants to avoid censorship, he should just wear a black hoodie and hold a petrol bomb. Then he'd get verified. You're being ridiculous. You deny the UN's civilian death statistics and you deny people posting on social media because they're all biased. I call Israel's violence Bigfoot since apparently it only exists if you take the picture. Israel's propaganda is the way that they have the most lovely names for brutal military operations. In 2008, Operation Hot Winter, 2006, Autumn Clouds, and 2004, Operation Rainbow. Maybe that's why conservatives aren't afraid of climate change. To them, it's perfectly normal if cluster bombs are a part of an autumn breeze. The 2004 campaign is particularly disturbing. Does it get any more propaganda than naming bulldozing Palestinian homes Operation Rainbow? Maybe they name it that because like a double rainbow, even if you catch it on camera, nobody will believe you. Dude, look, I saw a double rainbow. Yeah, yeah, I have an Instagram filter too. Apparently Israel takes a lot of criticism at the United Nations. Maybe they should just drag a Palestinian kid in to take the blows. Come on, I won the debate. I beat you down with a quick battle rap. It'll hurt so bad you'll scream, Gaza under attack. Let's take a break for a moment. I don't want to debate anymore. He won't listen. Yeah, we've been doing this for years now. This is the 40th episode and we still have almost no subscribers, no fan base. Oh, let's just quit. You disgrace the Bible with your murder. That's it, I'm gonna knock you out, you little twerp. No, it's important in a world of hate and ignorance that some type of pro-con content exists. People will find it. People will share it. I believe in you. Okay, I won't quit. Okay, I'll finish this series on Israel. Change comes from you, oh, from you, from you, from you, from you, change comes from you, change comes from you, oh, from you, from you, from you, from you, change comes from you. Well, the alien certainly steered the conversation in a direction that he wanted. I guess he learned what propaganda is. Ha! Huh. Can we even trust the alien? The last time I trusted an alien, he said, Don't run. We are your friends. 